Hey everyone, it's TEAF here, and today I'm here with an airport update for December. I'm sorry if I haven't done an airport update in roughly three months now. I have been incredibly busy lately, and I've been go undergoing a bit of stress lately, because... And also, because COVID-19 is surging here in the state... Um, there are a lot less flights coming in and out of the airport. A bunch of flights got canceled and or delayed. So yeah, there is a lot less traffic at the airport right now. So yeah. So as you can see, it's barely even busy today because of the fact COVID is surging right now. But uh, I guess we'll start other than that. So, here is a Delta 767-300ER. This is getting ready to depart the runway, and it's going to be heading off to Seattle. And over here, we have a Cathay Pacific 747-400. This is getting ready to depart for Hong Kong. Over here, we have an American 787-8. This has just landed from uh, Dallas DFW. And over here, we have an empty gate. We have a Delta 757-300. Currently, this plane's not going anywhere. In fact, most of the flights here aren't either. We have a Delta 737-800. And a Delta MD-90. And now we come to the international section. So here we have an Air China 777-300ER. Here we have an Air Lingus A320, an Air Canada 777-300ER. Here we have a Hawaiian A330-200 in the Moana livery. This is an incredibly rare plane, and I'm glad I was able to get it. Here we have a Vietnam 787-9, and then a British Airways 747-400, and then an Emirates A380 right here. Most of the international planes are not going anywhere today due to COVID surging. Plus a bunch of international flights got canceled as well. But other than that, let's head on over to the commercial section. Here we have a Southwest 737-700 in the New Mexico One livery. And over here we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown One livery. Southwest 737-300, Southwest 737-800, we have a JetBlue A321neo, this has just landed from Los Angeles, and here we have an Alaska Airlines A321neo. Over here we have a United 777, this has just landed from Honolulu. Here we have a United Airlines Q400. American 737-800. And then here we have an American 757-200. And over here, we have a Hawaiian A330-200. This is the Airbus hangar. And over here, we have an Airbus A380. In here, we have a Lufthansa Cargo MD-11. And then an Antonov AN-124. There's a Red Bull airplane. And here is the Boeing hangar. We have a FedEx 777F and then a Boeing 787-8 right there. Up here is a seaplane and a bunch of other planes right here. And now we'll come over to the ones on display over here. So here we have a US Airways A319 in the Arizona Cardinals livery a United 737 MAX 9. This plane actually is about to get back to the skies as well. This plane is officially back to the skies from what I've heard. After roughly two years of it being grounded, I think it might be getting back to the skies soon. And same for this plane, the 737 MAX 8 by Southwest. I'm really glad to see that they're making progress with these jets, because I really missed them. 
And here we have an American 777-300ER. And over here is an Aero Mexico 787-8. Frontier A319 in the Hector the Sea Otter livery. Delta 747-400, one of everyone's favorite planes. Here we have a Virgin Australia 737-800, an Air Trans 737-700, UPS 747-400, Emirates A380, Spirit A320, Alaska 737-400, and a JetBlue A320 over there. Here's an Allegiant A320. Delta 767-400, Alitalia 777-200ER. Here we have a Delta 767-400, a US Airways A320, I think, yeah. Here we have a Qantas A380, and a United 747-400. Over here, we have a Singapore Airlines A380, an Iberia A350, um, a CGN, Colin Bullen Airport, A319, Boeing C-130 right here, Air Force One, I got a Southwest plane right here, and then we have the big old American 777 right here. And then there's some books, and there's a NWA 747-400 right there. So, I think that pretty much concludes this airport update. So, thank you all a lot for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I do apologize if I haven't done an airport update in roughly a few months. I hope to get another one released next month. But anyways, thanks for watching and stay safe out there. Bye, everyone.